What's good guys, Tiger here, back with another video. I am very excited and very happy. Why? And that is because I have been playing the new Blackout map, Alcatraz. So in this video, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the new Blackout map, Alcatraz. Alcatraz is very different to the normal Blackout map we are so used to. It is drastically smaller and therefore a lot more intense. Now Alcatraz is only available to be played as quads, but I have seen teams of two deploy if you do want a challenge. And unlike original Blackout, you do not deploy out of a helicopter, but instead out of a portal in the sky. These portals are supposedly random, but I have noticed that the most popular portals are around a powerhouse, especially at the start of the game. Now what makes Alcatraz especially crazy is that you have five five respawns each until the final circle where no one can respawn regardless how many times you have died previously. Now you only respawn or redeploy, whatever you want to call it, if you have one or more teammates still alive and respawns only come in waves every 30 seconds so there are going to be players parachuting down constantly. During your first deployment, like normal, you have nothing but your bare fists. But like Hot Pursuit, as you spawn later into the game, you'll get a strife with reflexite, fast mags and five bandages. Now the map is small and intense, like I said earlier, but the map is quite well balanced with wide open spaces and long lines of sight with lots of verticality from all of the buildings. All of these buildings have lots of rooms with lots of places to hide, so you need to keep your wits about you and flush out buildings with your teammates to trade kills. A few other notable things that I think you should know about is that there is now guns that spawn on specific wall locations, like in Zombies. Now you can swap out these weapons for free, they don't have any attachments or anything, but these guns randomly change and you could find a decent gun on the wall like a Spitfire, ABR or Vapor. So always keep a lookout to see what is there. Okay, so now let's look at the map, what is the most important aspect. So let's first start off with Powerhouse, a popular spawn area of the map with three levels, including the roof area with a smaller room to the side. This building is very open with a wall missing on the first two floors and it has lots of windows and places to get in and out of. The outside area is pretty good for flanking as well as looting if you want to go down to the small dock at the bottom. Talking of looting, I just want to say Alcatraz is paint can heaven. This map is flooded with paint cans and you should be able to get 5 cans on average without even specifically looking for them as they are everywhere. Anyway, so that's Powerhouse. Next you have Model Industries, another popular spawn right next to the initial portals. Model Industries has 3 floors, also including the roof what is completely flat and has lots of good loot. A good place to hold down if you have a decent weapon with range like an assault rifle, tactical rifle or even a sniper. But in all honesty, snipers aren't the best for this map unlike the original map where they're just so useful. An easy looting route from Model Industries is New Industries, what I have been calling Long because of how long and narrow the building is. Now Long has some really good loot and seems to have a good spawn rate for supply crates where you can get all types of goodies including level 3 armour, operator mods, tactical weapons and specialist weapons what are crazy OP in this game mode, especially the Sparrow as well as the Purifier what in my opinion are the most effective. New Industries almost always has zombies, so watch out for them. Oh, did I not mention zombies? Alcatraz has a fuck ton of zombies all around the map. More than you have ever seen in any location on the normal Blackout map. So be extra careful and think about if you want to kill them or not. Don't get me wrong, if you kill them, you can unlock the zombie crate and get some really good loot and zombies do drop loot as you kill them, but one of the most precious resources in Alcatraz is ammo. Ammo is everything, you really need to think about saving it, it is very easy to get low on ammo and you might have to think about swapping out your tactical auger for a strife or a mog 12 just because you need a gun that can actually shoot. This also means think about if you want to try and hit some guy on the roof at a long range even though you know if they get downed they will just crawl away and you won't be able to finish them. 
These scenarios waste a lot of bullets, so you'll really need to think about whether you want to pop off a few shots or hold on to what resources you have and remain hidden. Next on the map is Officers Club, a natural place to rotate from if you started Powerhouse. Officers Club is a fairly small named location on the map with not that much loot, but it is often a safe place to land if you aren't that confident with your gun skill or blackout abilities. Now after you have looted Officers Club, you will naturally work your way to docks what is actually a really big area with lots of loot. Doc also has a very large building next to it, what is very long and I'm pretty sure has four floors including the basement and this place often has a lot of enemies so be careful. Docks would be a great place to land with your team, start outside, get a gun, clear the players around you and then jump through the window into the basement and work your way up through the building. Now this docks building has lots of small rooms and places to hide so you definitely want to stay close to your teammates and check every corner. This is a great building for mesh mines, razor wires and barricades. What also brings me on to saying how valuable EMP grenades are on this map. Now this docks building does have a central staircase that covers three floors and are the most popular areas for gunfights so try and command that area and never leave it unchecked for too long. Docks also has the cable car that you have probably seen in the trailer. This goes all the way up to the central building what is Cell House and that is what we are going to be talking about next. Cell House is the biggest building on the map and is the centerpiece of Alcatraz. Alcatraz is based on the famous prison and Cell House is of course the prison. But Cell House isn't keeping prisoners but zombies, you guessed it. First of all you are going to drop on the roof what is massive and has lots of loot but let's be honest you are going to die, this is the most ballsy landing place. It's like landing firing range or river town at once but it's actually really open so if you don't find a gun in the first 6 seconds just jump off the roof and save yourself. Now you can actually fall through the cracks in the skylights and fall into the cell area, what is a very interesting part of the map. Gives me those Riot vibes from Advanced Warfare if you played that map, I really liked that, I thought it was a really cool map. Now Cell House has lots of long corridors with two levels, watch out for people above and below you because there's just lots of areas to be seen, nowhere is safe inside the Cell House. Also you'll notice that some of the cells are open, so keep an eye out for shitty little campers or even if you need a spot to heal up if you've been shot, it's a great spot to just get out of sight, heal back up to 150 and then go again. One of the positives of being Cell House is because that it's so central you won't need to rotate and you can try your best to lock it down with your team. But be careful of the roof, if you do have great loot and control, best place to stay is on the roof and prevent anyone from redeploying and landing there, you'll be able to get lots of free kills. The roof is probably one of the best places for a sniper player as well as you can basically see the entire map from the roof but that also means that everyone else can see you, so be careful peering off the edge of the roof for too long. Just outside of the cell house is Warden's House, what is actually three buildings, so it should have been called Warden's Houses, but whatever. It's a great place to stay central, you can get lots of great loot, and these buildings have good lines of sight. The circle often collapses close to here, and you can also climb up into the lighthouse, what is the highest point on the map, but ideally you only want to go up here with a sniper or an assault rifle with a 3x scope or better. Ok next you have my favourite place what is parade grounds and ruins and between these two named locations I have found this area is not only to be one of the most popular landing locations but most common end circle. I found that the circle tends to end around these two locations. That might be different for you but I've been playing a ton of games and it just seems to be where the circle ends up. Very similar to how the original map seems to end around turbine area but again that might just be me. Now parade grounds is actually split up into three main areas. You have the tents, you have the big house, what me and my team like to call crazy because it is the fucking craziest house you have ever been to. Everyone is drawn to this house like a magnet for some reason. If you can get control of the top floor you are killing it. 
A lot of people land on the roof, what is a bit weird because there is no loot, but it's a good place to hide until the end. And the other part of the map is the cottages. There are four cottages that are very small, and they seem to have really good loot. They have a good street behind them, and a lot of supply crates seem to land behind this street, and it's also great for flanking. Now my favourite part of this map is tents, and there is tons of loot, zombies and crates. No one is safe, and no place is safe either. If you find a nice corner in a closed tent to sit, just remember you are one frag or cluster away from death. And tents is actually where I got my 21 kill game, what was so much fun, and I'll be uploading that soon, so watch out for that. Now you have probably noticed by now there is a small little island at the back of Parade Grounds and let me tell you this is the most pointless island ever. It is very limited with one little house with a wall gun, what is most likely to be an Essex model or something like that. It's a good place to land if you just want to stay away from everyone and not die instantly, especially if you're redeploying but not very good for looting, and it is pretty open, so you might get shot from someone who is actually up on the main island. Okay, last but by all means not least is Ruins. A very open area, often the end circle. Now Ruins is good for initial looting, but most people just end up rotating here from long or from tents. It's a great place to post up if the circle is getting smaller around here. There is also a wall gun here, but not much loot compared to all the other named locations. It probably has the least amount of loot of all the named locations in my opinion, but it's good for staying out of the way of everyone, especially at the start. Okay, so that is the map, and I think that is everything that I have for you in this video. I've covered a lot in this video, and everything that I believe you need to know before deploying for the first time. I hope this helped you, and I really hope you're enjoying it if you're already playing it, but if you haven't, don't worry, I really hope you're excited, and please try this out, because it is such a fun map, and it's a really good change of pace from the normal Blackout map, so if you don't enjoy Blackout as it is at the moment, try out this map, as it might be better suited to you, as it's so fast-paced and just something fun and fresh. Okay, so let me know in the comments section which place you are going to land first, if you haven't played yet if you are on Xbox or PC. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, consider subscribing and turning on notifications to stay updated on all my latest content. But that's all from me guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video.